We're covering team management in Microsoft Teams with this video. Whether you're a manager or an M365 architect or anywhere in between, this video is going to help you understand the different ways you can manage your team's membership in Microsoft Teams. I see people doing things in, in different ways and I see them making a lot of mistakes. So I'm going to cover the things you don't want to do in this video. So don't miss a second of this. Let's get into it. So option one, if you're a global admin or you've got other admin roles that let you access this site, you can manage your teams by going under teams and groups and selecting active teams and groups. Going to the team you'd like to update and going to the membership tab. And from here we can click on uh, like members and let's add someone to the membership group. Add test user and All done. So this will add someone to the members group in this case. Between the three options, owners, members, and visitors, uh, there's different permissions that are granted depending on how you add somebody. Stay until the end when I cover what each of these roles can do on your team. Next option, if you're a Teams admin, then you can go to the, the Microsoft Teams Admin Center, drill down under Teams, go to Manage Team, and select the team you'd like to update. And here you you see one single list, but you have a drop down list that you can update so that you can add someone using the add button or obviously remove them with the remove button. Uh, and then once you've added them, you can change the role, uh, maybe from member to owner or maybe back down to member just to suit your needs. So for the third option, all you need to do is go into Microsoft Teams. Uh, if you're the owner of a team, you can just simply uh, find it on your on your team's menu, click the three dots here and go down to manage team. From here, you see the owners, members, and visitors. So you can update this as needed, adding users with the add member button over on the right hand side. So this is another easy method to add users. And if you're already going in to manage your, your team and add more content or new tabs perhaps, this is probably the best place for you to manage your membership because it's all on the same application. So for the next option, I could manage my team membership directly from SharePoint, but it's not the way you think. What we're actually going to do on here is go to the top right corner where it shows the number of members. I could click on this and there's an add members button. So from here, I can add in the person I would like to give rights to. And now they have access to the team. Now what you don't want to do is manage permissions like you would on a typical SharePoint site. And that would be through site permissions and advanced site permissions. If you're gonna be updating the SharePoint groups themselves, uh, which is affecting the SharePoint site security, but it's not affecting the team security, you're going to run into issues. So I would advise you that for teams connected sites, you stay out of this part of the SharePoint site and manage permissions just with the team options it's, uh, itself, which uh, correlates to the M365 group that is connected to that team. If you stick to the methods that I've shown earlier in this video, you'll have a lot less issues. So you're gonna be adding people to your team now. What role do you assign them? As a general rule, team members should be granted the members role so that they can do all the collaboration they need to. They can add tabs or apps or bots into the teams to contribute to the content that is being developed there. Anyone who's gonna be responsible for managing that team, including adding and removing users, uh, things like that, should be given the ownership role. And everyone else should be guests. People outside the department are probably going to be good candidates for guests, which have more limited access. But for the full breakdown of everything that each role can do, there's a handy chart that Microsoft provides. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this.